Okay, so today we're playing some Kerbal Space Program with my cousin Brett. Hello. And right now I am building a shuttle. And what we're going to do in this video, we're going to stress test it and see if it can actually fly. Yep. So, here it is so far. Pay no attention to this stage right here. This isn't going to stay. This is just so I can get this into an, a higher altitude so I can test its glide. So let's see if it works or not. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's, let's test it. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm, lying, and I'm launching a rocket and trying to get into Kerbin's orbits. Yeah? How's that working out for so, you? Right now, it's, it, I think it's doing pretty good. I'm 17,000 meters and climbing. Yeah. Okay, so here's the, the shuttle so far, and let's launch it. So right off the bat, we see a problem with it wanting to go backwards too, too much. So let's see if we can turn it around and get it up in the air. Seems to be working pretty well. So John, what are we launching today? What are you launching? Okay, so... It appears to be working pretty okay, but... My fear is that as soon as we detach from this, it's not going to want to glide. So John, you're doing a space flight? Yeah, it's a, sp it's a space shuttle right now. Alright. So. That's smart. And let's detach it. Okay, so. It looks like it's working, actually. Good. I'll take that back. Looks like we're falling like a rock. We're falling with style. Maybe if I can... Come on. Speed up. Speed up. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to land. Parachutes! Okay. Uh, we're going too fast. We're going way too fast. And boom! Look at that. And boom goes down. Let's see. Oh, look! Oh, where, where does that thing go on? That little piece oh, is flying away. Oh, it exploded. Okay, let's just save the people. So let's try that again. Maybe if we revert flight and we try that, maybe we can get it to glide. Fun fact about Kerbal, days there are only six hours. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. They only have six hour days. Which is sort of helpful when you're buying this game, but... Yeah, but it's not like we ever actually play it for six hours at a time. Yeah. Okay. Like last night when I was doing my mom, my mom landing. Right now it's gonna be kind of hard to hear you, Brett, because my rockets are going off. Alright. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's, we we sort of have a reasonable amount of speed for this, and that's just with rockets. So let's detach it. Oh no, that's not good. Nose cone's gone. Come on. Come on. No. No, you fool. No, don't thrust down. Oh, God. Parachutes. Everyone is going to die. Hey, look at that. That exploded. But I don't think this is going to work out too well. Come on. Maybe we can slow ourselves down a little bit. And look at that. You know what I mean? You know what would be great, a great feature to add to, to Kerbal? What? Um, a slow down feature, like, like, you could, like, slow down time instead of speeding it up. That'd be kind of, I don't know if that'd be really useful, though. Yeah, it would be. Like, certain, at certain times, it would be incredibly useful. That's the whole hmm. situation behind it, though. Is like... Yeah. Okay. So, let's see if we can get this shuttle to glide properly. It appears that we have too much weight on it, so let's get rid of these vents. Ah, crap. And right, so I guess I did the staging incorrectly. Who knows? And it didn't keep my uh Yeah, you messed up on your staging? Yeah, my my final my second to final stage wasn't uh connected, so I so it just detached completely and I didn't have my uh what's it called? My all I had left was my pod. 
which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to fix this up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, everybody. What I did was I removed those vents, as you saw, and I added a little bit more control surfaces to the plane so that we can actually maybe control a bit better. And we also added a computer right here to kind of help what's the word look for I guess thrust it in another direction it's not really a rocket or anything it's just like I don't really know it's just like a computer for all I care but let's try it out alright so this time hopefully this time my rocket is it does is okay and I can actually get this rocket into orbit yeah you got to the moon last night apparently so yeah, I did, and I crashed it, but <laughs> it was a bit of ridiculous, um, it took me a real, a long time, and it was a ridiculous mission. Yeah. Okay, me. so let's get this rocket launched. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, but it took me like 24 days or something like that. In so, time. Oh. so it looks like we still have the problem with it backing off. Yeah. So, maybe it will glide better. And I have a phone call. I shall return. And I return. And sorry about that, guys. I had a call from my recruiter. So it appears that I am free Monday. I don't have to go get my physical done tomorrow. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to get it done so that way I'd be ready to go, but I guess that they're overbooked at MEPS, so it's going to be a little bit. Alright, Anyways, so I, I continued, I screwed up my, my staging again. So did. I think I know how to fix it. I gotta move the detachment one stage up. I gotta add another stage and put the detachment above the curve. Oh, okay. And that is how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna release this rocket now and see how well it does. In three, two, one, launch. Oh, no, 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 God, no. It's gravity all over again. Yeah, look, it's like I'm free. John screwed up another mission, didn't you? Yeah, luckily I'm not saving all this damage. Yeah, I want to see what I would be in debt right now. Yeah, did you only like point over so far? Oh. I don't want any parachutes, man. These these guys are just gonna die. And it, my yeah. rocket's like, what the hell is it doing over there? Oh, it's blown up. Since I'm since I core right now in purple, I'm not saving any flights that I screw up. No. Because right now, I can only afford to build four rockets that can make it to Kerbin's orbit. Okay, so... So that's how bad I'm doing right now. It costs 17000 to build that kind of rocket. I would be testing this another way if I had wheels. But I do not have wheels just yet because I haven't unlocked those yet. So this, Which is why I'm launching it I'm like a third actual space right shuttle. I'm working on, I mean, the third tier of stuff. Hmm, so how am I gonna fix this? Gotta use your noodle, John. Yes. Your noodly noodle. Maybe if I do this, move these rudders back a little bit. They will still do their job, but maybe it will provide a little bit more gliding capability. Who knows? How far you can zoom out is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. So let's let's try this out. In three, two, two one, one, launch. Oh, uh, no, we still wanted to push back, but that's no biggie. That's just a problem with the weight in the front. Yeah, John, you're going to check where the, uh, the center of, what is it, weight? Center of mass and the center of thrust. Yeah, you got to check. And you want to get those in line, but I got this in line as much as I could without having to put too much weight on it. Otherwise, the thrust would just be crap. And uh, release! That's... Right, let's see, come on, you can glide. I know you can. It's, uh... It's like Dumbo right now. Except with, like, ears that don't make you fly. And we died. Because I completely, I believe I could die. No. That doesn't even apply right now. What's wrong with you? Okay, so... 
I'm the best thing you've got. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. To be honest, like it's. Do I need to remake the wings altogether? Because I really don't want to. I feel like these are the best at wings I can get. John, I got, I got, I got a suggestion. What is it? Stop trying. Stop trying. <laughs> Stop trying. Really, Brett? Really? That's a solution. Okay, I got an idea. How about we just stick with the whole idea of this game and add more boosters to it? Sounds good. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's get some big ones going here. As long as and I get the orbit, I don't care. Right let's, put them, let's put them like a random it's spot. Worth thousands of dollars. No, maybe it's not worth too random. But just try them. Oh, it's upside down. We were to all the place. Like that. Let's see how well that works. So, I'm going to refix these. So. Those are right there. Let's restage that a little bit. Boom. That's gonna work. I know it will. Let's try this. I know I could touch the Oh, maybe yeah. save, not launch. <clears throat> I'll touch the moon. I have $59,000. Ugh. It's just terrible. This is awesome. This is what the game is made for. Just monstrosities as this. Let's launch. Oh, look at that. It's better than anything. Yes. So much is wrong with this. Oh my God, it's why? beautiful. Oh, I forgot, no, I forgot look my at that. Oh, I let's get. Let's try that again. That one. I feel like we could do better. I feel like I a robot. You want to shank a robot? I feel like I could. Okay. You have issues. Just a little. The touch! We got this! Yes! Come on, fly, fly! You got this! You got this, rockets! Yes, it's working. Who needs anything else but boosters? There we go. Look at that. Oh, we're a missile. We are a missile now, and we're going back. Parachute! See if that helps. Yeah, we launched those. It destroyed our wings a little bit, but who cares? You survive. But we're gonna crash either way because we have too much speed, even with parachutes. How many parachutes do you have? I think I have one. I think I have three. Damn. But this is like what? I'll check it again later. But I think it's a good four, ten ton rocket. I don't know. I'll check it out. It's a ridiculous check. one, I assume. So let's check it out. I think I can check it out right here. Yes, I can. Go to that. And this is a 226.85 ton ship. Holy crap, man. So, but well, that's just with the rockets and fuel on it, too. So, well, I don't know. Uh, how about we do something different here? How about we, as soon as we... Try not being a loser. Brad, that was hurtful. I'm gonna cry. Try, try like the baby you are. Come on, you can fly. I know you can. You did it earlier. Mistakes oh, were made. Uh, and look at that. Uh, you got shot by the FBI. Yeah. All you wanted to. That was beautiful. Let's go to the moon. Look at the base. And its majesticness. The but who cares? We're just going to try this again. Let's try this. I know we can do this, guy. Thank you. Slowly. Why do you want to kill me, Brent? You play. Play Kerbal. If this doesn't work, I'm going to build it again. Drop. Come on, turn. There we go. Alright. Come on, just get stable. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, hello. Loop to loop. And it's blown up. Is that what I heard? Yeah, actually a rocket did a full loop to loop around my ship. It was pretty cool. Uh, so you know what I know this is really weird about people? Okay. I hate you, KSC. We're gonna destroy you now. No, I'm seriously bad. Come on, I have to Missile! Missile! What's up, man? I'm confused about Kerbal for one reason. There's nothing on the entire planet except for KSC. That is weird, actually. This is like a. Is this like the equivalent of the villages? Like, are they like Indians right now, but they have the capability to build ships? 
It's like a single tribe. Okay, let's rebuild the ship. And I'll... So it appears that I really can't do anything to this rocket until I get wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mission on pause. And go and... We're going to try to get the money to fund... Another such an endeavor. Fact about Kerbal. There appears to be no cities or villages of any kind on the planet. Yes. I feel like we covered that. Or maybe they Sir. live in the ocean. That's very yes, they, they live in the ocean. Which is why they can't swim. How do you know they can't swim? Because they die whenever <laughs> they touch the water. They don't die when they touch the water. Okay, their ships blow up when they touch the water. <laughs> Shut up, down. Okay, so here's my orbiter. We're gonna go to another pl uh, system and try to get as much money from it as we can by selling the science. I feel sad. John can do all these things, and I can and I can barely attempt to go to the moon. I just it's it's What's sad. The, the moon is the moon. Called, well, the moon rather is called Mun, weird. But it's it's clever. Okay, so let's launch this in three, two. One launch. And so here we go. We got our single pilot, and he's gonna be the one gathering all the science for us. So, here we go. This is what the inside of it looks like. Throttle and all. So, this time my rocket works. Yeah. See, I would like to see you have a moon base pretty soon, Brad. I'm just hoping to get to the one soon. Hopefully today, if I can <coughs> hold off. So, there's the ocean. In its glory. Can't really see it too well because it's nighttime. But, you know, it's there. And then, there's our little base. Slowly disappearing. And now my... Launch finally works like I wanted it to. Yeah, got to work. Yep. I'm gonna take this one fuel though. So this is our fuel right here, and these two tanks are slowly feeding this tank in with excess fuel that it does not need. And so we need to turn over right about now for a gravity burn. Alright, so I'm about one third of the way to being in orbit. Oh, uh, look at those lights right there. I think... What time is it? I don't even know what time it is in the game. Let's see if we can check. Oh, yeah, it's about morning. Yeah. Should be morning anytime soon now. I think it's morning or dawn or uh, dusk here. Oh, we're about to run out of fuel on those and detach those and... There we go. Now this should get us into a proper orbit. Soon enough, turn All it right, on. Maybe I should turn this up to two thirds to make sure my apparatus stays <clears> in front of my rocket. So what we're gonna do with this mission is we're gonna try to get to. Let's see, we're gonna get the jewel this time, and if we can, but there's no guarantee we might be able to make it back. So I might rethink this. Actually, yes, I will. I'm gonna go to Duna. Set that as my target. So, um, John, I wanted to ask, have you ever gotten to a point in one of your career modes or anything where you just got, where you've done everything and you got bored? Uh, actually, I've never gone to that point. Because this game, as long as you have a really good creativity, a really good I mean amount of creativity, you should be fine. Bases, all this stuff. At some point, you'll get to that, you know? Yeah, at some point, you will. I hope not. I love this game too much. Yeah. So, I feel you. right now. Let's see. My altitude is at a good 180. So let's stop with the thrust. Get to that location right about here. My apparatus <coughs> is almost 50,000 now. And then here we go. We're gonna get to about that yellow circle, and that is our thrust vector where we wanna. Our speed go because that's where we're, we'll speed up the fastest, and then that will widen our orbit, as you can see. And now we just keep it here and just follow the yellow circle until it's 
you got an orbit. But keep in mind, you gotta watch your fuel. Oh, dude, when I did that, when I almost went to the mon, I didn't set the mon at my target. I just kind of like jiggled the uh, thing until I got until I was up on the top there. Yeah. Yeah. So, got a nice picture of the, of the sun. Turn that around a little bit. I take screenshots, I forget. You take a screenshot with F12. Thank you. That's a Steam screenshot. If you want a KSP Steam sh screenshot, it goes into the, the proper folder, and you have to press F1. But the Steam ones you can share out to everybody else, so that's what I do. Yeah, of course. Oh, it looks like we have, okay, we have an orbit now, and now we're just burning to make it so that way it goes out of the system and goes around the sun. I'm burning to make sure I can get to orbit of 30,000. And we are out. So now let's start burning towards... Oh, uh, that's not what we want to be doing. We want to be burning the opposite direction. I so. never catch a burgee. He's now let's... Speed. Say goodbye to our planet. Speed up a little bit. There we go. We're leaving that. Yep, there's minimum. That's an asteroid, actually. There we go. You ever tried to do that mission, John? What, the asteroid catching one? Yeah. Uh, not really. I tried it once, and it didn't really do too well on it. It's hard. Difficult. Yeah. It's not like you're oh. just orbiting around it and trying to catch up to it. You have to, it's, that asteroid is, like, going straight, and you have to speed up. Alright, so I... Well, since I wasn't paying attention, the Apollapsis got to 111,000 meters before I realized what was going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is detach from this. There we go. Release that engine. There we go. Mm. So let's find our little friend over there. And there so we go. So I'm warping towards the collapses. That's a nice little viewing potential right here. About two minutes away. <clears throat> so, let's go over what's on my ship a little bit. On my ship, we have the cockpit. <laughs> Stop your <We're> snickering. <laughs> and then we have some nice little rockets. So, I forget. Yeah. I forget no, oh, wait, I say rockets. I mean, <laughs> these aren't rockets. These are goo catching, containers. like goo container things. And you use them for science. You use them for science, yes. So, like, if I hit observe the mystery goo, the open, and it tells you the science that you can get and how much it's worth. Since I've been here before, it's only worth zero. So I'm just gonna reset that. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. It just like if it's if it's like the second time you've been there, then you'll still get some science. But uh, actually, I'm getting zero percent right now. It That's says. weird. Because I've been here a lot, dude. Oh well, you've been there a lot, so there's yeah difference. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start burning towards. Duna pretty soon, so let's get a maneuver node going so that we can head over there. So, these little arrows that you see, they are something that you want to be right next to each other. And so what you're seeing right here, as they get closer and closer together, that is your ship and a planet. Think of it like that. And you want them to be right onto each other so they form a planet like that. A little symbol. And it's what it's saying right now, it's going to be a minute and 43 second burn in this direction right here. So, we're going to wait 236 days, 0 hours, and 14 minutes until we get to that location. So, I'm, not, I'm going to Duna, but not to visit Duna, but one of its moons. Alright. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to orbit it and possibly land on it if I have enough fuel. But with when I'm doing this, I have to keep in mind that I do have to get back home. You technically don't have to, but I want to get back home because if you bring the science back, kind of like a UPS man, they will pay you more for it. Instead, of, instead if you were basically trying to send it online through the in-game like internet style stuff 
you wouldn't get as much. So, we gotta slow down a little bit. We got five more days until three, two, one. Oh, oh god, I missed it. That's a smooth move on my part. So let's refix that. Okay, right. Dude, let's put those, the stuff back up. There we go. We want to slow that down, maybe a little smidge Dude, it. I mean, like, like maybe the animal do it like that. That's going to be a 16 day plus. Right, so let's I'm try that. And I'm going to, thanks. And I'm going to grab. And 15, 14, 13. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Off, nice. And, ah, oh, don't. There we go. Six yeah. minutes, 45 seconds. Let's slowly go up to that. So I do not want to be sitting here for an additional six minutes. I'm gonna three, take my two, that's three, two, one. I'm gonna take my data, and then I'm gonna slowly. Forty seconds. I'm gonna detach. Speed it up a little bit. No way, I'm not gonna probably get yeah, on its maneuver node. I need and to go, there we go. retrograde, so I'll start burning nine, towards the surface. Eight. And we're gonna start at five seconds, so it's time to warm up the engines. There we go. Now we have to sit here for a minute and 35 seconds. And I'll restart this video when we get there. Okay, so we are now making our way towards Duna. But as you may notice, my ship is smaller. So what happened was that the stage that was originally supposed to get me there ran out of fuel early. So I had to get rid of that stage and rely on this one. It's not that bad actually. So it's actually one of the primary stage for getting places because it has really good fuel efficiency. So now we just have to wait until we get over there. So let's fast forward this. So we're not sitting here forever. And I'm just hoping that for like we don't have to burn for like three minutes. This is slow down. What I'm hoping right now is that my uh, my pod doesn't explode on contact with Kerbin. Wait, what happened now? No, I'm just hoping it doesn't because it's going like 150. 150. But it's slowly, it's being slowed down by the parachute. So. Hmm. I so. wish when you got heavy rocketry. The pot, you got one of the bigger pods because it looks really, really weird to have the little one. Oh, yeah, it's like a big ass pieces, and it's, it's annoying. But yeah, with the recent update, they rearranged the whole uh, research and development yeah, scheme. Yeah, kind of, kind of thing. I, I always, I still wish that they didn't have make it so courage and uh, <clears throat> like how what, what? It was only six meters and six meters a second. How did they explode? Oh yeah, they will explode on contact if they're going too fast. It was going six meters, dude. It has a twelve meter a second. I don't know, man. I, I guess I'd have to see it. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to be burning for about a minute. I guess I'll just put something on it so, so it won't explode. Let's start slowing down, shall we? We're gonna revert to vehicle assembly and just throw something on the bottom of this or won't explode as soon as it so, in the distance, you actually can see the planets right there. In the distance, look at that. Duna is the one that's a little bit reddish. And then I think that that is Ike. Yeah, that's Ike, which is one of the moons. Yes. So, my plan is I'm, I don't really want to do a full. Uh, orbit around him. I just kind of want to zip by one of its moons if I can. But I don't think that's going to be possible, seeing as how I'm almost halfway down the field. So this mission, I might just have to stay down there for a little bit until I can send another ship to collect them. the player. I mean the pilot. I think I know how I'm going to stop my explosion. I'm going to add the inline reaction wheel to be under my, uh, under, like, on the same stage as my, uh, can, so it won't take the full of the force. Hmm. I think this will work. Hey man, tell me if it works or not. Tell me if it Yeah, I'm going to stop burning. I do not have enough fuel to 
continue with that. So I'm gonna cancel that as my target. And we're just gonna zip by the planets and let's go right about there. Let's see. We can get a good view maybe. Yeah, there we go. We couldn't get as close as we wanted to because we don't have enough fuel. Because I do have to realize I you have to realize I have to get back. So let's see if I can get any signs from this. Time warping has No, I cannot get any signs from this, and this is a waste of time. So let's see. Uh, we'll just burn anyways. We can send this back via antenna. Time warping has screwed me over more than once. Has it? That's that's all I have to say. At this exact moment. And this time, if this launch pops up, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna rage. I swear to God, I'm tired of of this launch not working when I've done it a billion times and it always works. Oh. I'm getting tired of it, alright? Just, it's a pain. Launch. So, once we get somewhere... Wait, I'm still wondering if I should either land... I don't know, I don't think I should land on Duna because I don't have the proper parachutes for that. Because Duna has a really low atmosphere. So by the time I hit the atmosphere, I'll be basically touching the ground. So I need to get the high atmosphere parachutes so that way I can slow down enough. Because of the, I have the low atmosphere parachutes Wait. that deploy when I'm really look close to the ground, but I need the high altitude ones so that way I can slow down way before them. John, I got an idea. What you could do is skip from for some science. Is skim along the high atmosphere and then come back and get the science from being in its in its atmosphere. And Maybe. Then go in, but not land. All right. Oh damn it! One second. Let me burn again in the other direction because I just had a really good come on right about there we go and I'm gonna burn right with Ike so what's gonna happen it's gonna follow the blue line and hit the purple and that's where the it's gonna catch me hopefully I hopefully have enough fuel too so let's keep that in mind so I'm gonna do a month launch let's probably go. after I have a little bit more funds use my lander and maybe make a couple adjustments yeah and this time I won't completely fuck it up. Okay, so hopefully we have enough fuel for this. I think we possibly will. Also, after this launch, I'm gonna take a little break. Go see what's going on. Let's go see what we're having for dinner and, you know. Okay. And whatnot. So this mission has also created another mission. Because I'm gonna have to come back for this ship what later way? on. Just, did you get up in the night? Did you get up last night? Yeah. Oh. Come on. I don't need these anymore, so detach those. And it gave me a little boost of fuel a little bit. What? When the little kids are staying, we have to keep one of the lights on in the house. And the thing is, is it shines bright enough to come all the way down the hall into my room? And the thing is, if I close the door, it comes. It gets really hot in here. Yeah. But if I open the door, then there's a goddamn light. Oh, so that sucks. It's funny. You know what I find? I always find that funny, though. When you're younger, you want a light. But when you're older, you don't. I know. Okay, so let's watch that. Like, when it comes to light, I am very, very sensitive and annoyed. If I'm actually, like, if I'm not, like, dead tired. So tired that if I just lie in my bed, I'll fall asleep. Okay, let's close this orbit now. So, let's find that node. There we go, and slow down. So I've slowed down my throttle all the way down to one third. So now I'm, I have an orbit around Ike, and I'm gonna leave this here. And you won't return for it one I'm gonna, yeah, I'll re return for it later on, and save this pilot. So John. So yeah, I got 49.30. What? So is this your uh, brand new sci your brand new career? Yeah, this mode? is my brand new career mode. Dude, how far in are you? Like, how many days? I'm not sure. I think I'm in somewhere. I'm not sure. I'll check it out in a second. So I finished this one. I achieved orbit around Ike, and I got $37,500. Now, and I also achieved orbit around Duna, and got $37,500 for that as well. But now I need to get the science. And let's observe this goo. I'll get 70 for that, 21 if I transmit it. Keep that. Get, though. Oh wait, actually, I'll read. 
I'm gonna flip that around. There we go, and let's go into the sun. We need the sunlight to be able to transfer this. There we go, and let's turn towards it. Oh crap, I forgot to do my gravity turn. You did? So we move. Uh, 2,000 meters have been lost. That's alright. Alright. My, my new gravity, turn, my gravity turn is at 22,000 meters, and I forgot to do it until 24. I didn't complete it until okay. 27. So, let's open up this thing. This is my satellite, so extend that. And let's start transmitting all this science. So, transmit, yes. It's going to start doing its thing. I got an additional set of money for doing that as well. It's closing. I don't want to close. I need to keep transmitting. Trans whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like 3%? Oh, great. So, it appears that I'm going to want to keep the rest of this and go and get a ship that can save this. So, because transferring it once is only good. So, i got to keep all of it. And now, let's take a look at the big module. Open that up. And I'll get 35, 175. I think I'll transmit that. So, after I transmit that, I'm going to go check out the Space Center. And let's see how much money we... So, we've got a good set of money right here. That's not, that's useless though, for what we want. So we're gonna go to this research lab. And let's see how much we, we have 179. So I think that's enough for, yep, we have enough for wheels. And now they're researched. What's next we can get? Oh, cool, so that's what next we're gonna get. Is the high altitude parachute stuff and go do it on land and all that. But right now, let's focus on that shuttle we built earlier. All so right. let's go back to that. So, um, how long are you planning on uh, recording? I'm gonna record until I finish this shuttle. Well, I might do it in segments, but who knows? Right. So let's get rid of these rockets. Who needs these? And we don't even need this anymore. So let's. This opens up a whole new set of things we can possibly do. This is quickly expanding. Delete that. Oh, cut the, cut the engine. Cut it. Cut it now. Ninety-eight thousand. Oh my God, dude! I almost got a perfect orbit. Yeah. The apoapsis is ninety-nine thousand nine hundred one meters, and the periapsis is ninety-eight thousand three hundred forty-five meters. Nice. Only a thousand meters off. I feel good. Okay, so we got we got that stuff there. So it's. Now what I got to do right now is cut the. Uh, is. I gotta get my science. Get my crew report real quick. Keep the data. Hmm. And then, you know, uh, prepare to burn retro raid. Let's see how. Let me move this up a bit. And then we'll try the rocket out, this shuttle out. Slow, 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 slow down the turn. Slow down the put turn. Put a on new the one on there. And then we'll put it right there. That should that matches pretty well, I think. Right, and let's test forward. it out. Okay, we got rockets right there. I will put a couple of jet engines, just so that way you can fly along. But right now, this I'm just worried about it flying, gliding rather. Pretty well. Oh, and it looks like we're like a bumblebee. We're gonna s scrape the ground a little bit. Let me see. Let's just test it out either way, because it's gonna blow up. But let's try it. Yeah, it's perfect. It, oh yeah, blew up. With a half-used bottle of toothpaste. What? I don't know. I, I've never heard that before. I think Family Guy said that before. Okay. But look how awesome it looks. Not really. But <laughs> it's it's just so awesome. It just scrapes the ground. With ease. Look at how awesome the explosion was. <gasps> Everyone's just like pissed off at me. They're like, what the hell are you doing, John? John, bad John. I curse your so, name. So, let's restart that. You so and so's, I curse your name. But, but, wiener. But, but, wiener. But, 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 but. Let's. It appears to me that it's going to need. 
more struts. Maybe because these struts got after them got taken off. The Watch this around, oh, coming in for a landing. Ah, oh, damn it. Taste well, here's what it looks like underneath. Delete that. Control Z. What? Ah, oh, I did it again. It's hard to see where that little piece is connected. Let me see if I can zoom in, in further. Not there. Not there at all. Begin to slow me down. Slow. That's why I deploy my shoots. Is as soon as I can see the burn on the side of my rocket. Oh my God! Really? This is getting difficult. I can't even see it. Come on. Come on, where are you? Nowhere to fall in. Nowhere to walk away. No way to take off your pants. That's a little weird, Brett. Don't be that kid. <laughs> I am that kid. <sighs> that one's gonna be a pain in my ass. Oh, that's not what I wanted. But... All right, slowing down now. Please just let me not hmm. crash and get pissed. I'm gonna piss off this little shred. Doesn't well work. You know, screw it. I'll just add another one over here. Take that. I don't want to do that. I want everything to be perfectly symmetrical, but whatever. I hate when I land on the mountains. Okay, so a lot of stuff explodes whenever you land there. What I'll probably do is to stop that from skating his ass all over the ground of the runway. How's my mom hammering on the floor, James? Uh, we'll do this. We'll just we'll put wheels on the actual ship, and that will provide a little bit more structural integrity. But we want to push him a little further, actually. Ah, oh, great. The shoots aren't going to have enough time to completely uh, slow me down before I hit the ground. No? Oh, like, I'm going 8 meters a second. I'll lose one thing, at least. No. Because I'm landing in the mountains. Again. Oh, it didn't explode. This is... This is surprise. progress. This is progress. I'm not kidding. Yeah. It's Right, let's bit. go EVA and see what's out here, right? I don't like the way that looks. Let's get those back a bit. Eh, it looks better. Alright, I forgot the rules. You can't, uh... You can't... Don't ever, ever... Ever. What? Um... And I get 0 0.6 science in my work. I don't get anything from that. Don't ever go full speed. No, never... Never warp when you're outside of the, the craft. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we got this... To not scrape this ass over the ground. So let's see if it flies. And let's look at that view, guys. This is an awesome view. You can see everything out that window. <laughs> the window of justice. Yes, it's the window of justice. So I might need new engines because these in an atmosphere don't work too well. They were too slow. But but does it blend? We're just gonna let gain door. speed, and if it glides a little bit at all, just a little bit, I'll be happy. Seriously, do I forgot that I have to recover the science first before I get my my reward? Oh, and the cool thing is we got solar panels here. Look at that. Oh, and they destroyed themselves because of the wind. And they're broken. Nice. Nice Not gonna do that again. One day later. So, my speed is pretty good. But it's just, it's not enough to get off the ground. So, looks like gonna be going to the end of the runway for these guys. Everyone's freaking out except for a friggin' Len Hat. hat. Learn hat? It was a Len Hat. I think it's a Len Hat. For doing that, for doing that, uh, for completing it, I got 31,000 funds. One science, 142. Um, Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Turn up. Beautiful. That was an awesome glide. That glide. That was just, that was as good as a rock, guys. What's the mission? 
Hey guys, let's become a submarine a little bit. Maybe we should slow down before we hit the water, but... Oh, oh, it's gonna glide! Oh, not my line. And it's hitting the water. Look at that. Uh, look at that lag. Alright, man, to the There you go. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Well, apparently, when my plane hit the water, and I looked inside my, uh, the cockpit... <laughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> it crashed the game. Because apparently when, uh... I'm saying apparently a lot, but... The game doesn't like it when you crash something and then try to do something else at the same time. So, little known fact. Because knowing is half the battle. Well, little known fact. Kerbals are all serial murderers. That's not true. You don't know that. You don't know that either. Want to fight? I'll fight you right here, right now. Let's do this. I'm fairly sure that Kerbals are actually based on the um, assumption, you know, little green men. That's racist. That's not racist. Why are, you being, that's, why are you being racist, Brett? You're fat. That's not very nice either, and you know that's not true! Anymore. Brett, you're, on, you're, you're being recorded right now, too. That's hateful. I record my nuts. That's, I don't... No, I would get no views for that. <laughs> like, no one wants to see that, Brett. Oh. They'd be, like, I too hard to see like anyways. That. It'd be, like, looking at... What's it called? Uh, Shoot yourself. Oh. You're bringing death into this now, are you? Shoot yourself industries. Do I need all this fuel? Maybe I don't. Let me take the fuel down halfway. Maybe then I'll fly. You need to shoot someone. Yeah, I guess. Right, that's, that's rude. Here, bud. Haze yourself. Haze your bum. Oh, no! Did I? Okay, good. I thought I just, hey, hey. I just got back all of them. I thought that it just took all of them. So that now that half the fuel has gone out of all of these, it might fly a bit better. But who knows? I certainly don't. We start out with half fuel, which I don't really like seeing. But if this doesn't work, I'll put all the fuel back. No when to fold them. No when to walk away. Hmm. Come on, you control surfaces. Do your job. I'm not paying you to just I stand around. The exploring the one thing I have to achieve orbit, so even if I just like, you know, don't really have an orbit and I land there, I, I still haven't completed the thing. Hmm. So, pain. I'm just surprised my wings haven't caught on fire. I'm just surprised that the wings didn't go and stab your pilot. Because the back rudders are being hit with thruster fire right now. And nothing's happening to them. But the other thing is that this thing isn't taking off either, so... That's just disappointing a little bit. If you have too many thrusters at once, when you're doing like a, a normal rocket, it starts spinning a lot. So it's... Come on, fly, fly, fly! Ah, oh, damn it! So there's not enough thrust. That's the thing now. It's just... It doesn't have enough thrust. Falafel. You're a falafel. Falafel, falafel. That's racist. The falafel, falafel. Okay, so no put that, let's put that on there. That might help a little bit. But now let's put the fuel back. Right, that that adds weight to the back of it as well. Which might help push it up. And then... What we'll do now is... I'll fight you, Brett. I don't care if you're family. I'll try this. I'll put... I'll put some jet fuel on the bottom. Because everything's better with jet fuel. Come on. Everything's better with Stabby. Who the heck is Stabby? He's a monkey? Yeah, he stabs children. That's a little weird. You're a little weird. Well, you're... stupid. You're, you're ugly. Oh. Oh, okay. We're gonna look into this now. Don't even yeah. get me started on your mom. Don't go there. This is messing with you. Oh. I that know you are. Why don't you just do stupid 
No, Bro, Brent. That's not working out. This is... So let's put it on top of here for a second, and I'll add the engines. Um, jet engines, come on. No, they don't want to connect. Let's up here for a second, then. Come on, connect, you damn dirty ape. That's offensive. You're offensive. Your face is offensive. That's rude. Old man Jenkins. Call me old man Jenkins. I'm only 18. Yeah. But the thing is, you don't know when to fold them. 1800s. Let's go over here now. No way to fold. No way to suck it. That's really weird, Brent. No wind to kill John. I don't like that. Now let's no get let's get some. Disappear. That should work. So. <laughs> Just I feel like it's not gonna be enough, but we'll give it a shot because it doesn't need to like solely rely on that. So we'll, we'll do both thrusters and jet engine power. Because if anything, the thrusters are only going to be used in space, and the jet is gliding. Well, this is just so I can take off. And there we go. Yeah, that won't work. Ah, oh, damn it. It doesn't work. I didn't put uh, vents on it. So it and takes would work. I'm screwing around with my uh, rocket while it's, while it's flying. Yeah? Like I'm screwing with the um, staging. Because I realized I did something wrong. But great. But now it's good. Did you find out when to fold them? I found out when to fold. Uh, yeah, think about that, Brent. Think real hard about your next step. <laughs> yes. Why, Brent? This is going on YouTube. Why would you say that? No way to ram it. The people of the internet are nice people. <laughs> no, <they're not. laughs> no, man, the they are well understanding and compassionate. Uh, no, I think I think I think okay, so let's see if this is working. I'm, just, I'm noticing a real fast increase in speed. First of all. I'm noticing my thinking it's coming back to okay, Don't do that. That's not a real good view. Fly. Bitch, 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 bitch. We want you to fly. Because we can believe. If you don't fly, I'm gonna find where you live plain and stab you in the throat. What? Nothing. This family will stab you in the throat. I'm talking to the plane, sir. It's not the throat. And we both know it. Come on, you can work. I believe you can fly. I can't say. Come on, fly. No. No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on! No, it's not gonna fly. Uh, it's bad. Oh wait, maybe, maybe. No, we're just we're just slowly declining in that, and we're just descending. I love you, ocean. Give me a hug. So, the good thing is that this thing is not a boat, and it is a plane. But it does glide for the most part. So the next logical step would be possibly to add boosters to it. No, uh, to send it in space. So we'll revert this to plane, and that probably is video for now. And then I'll make a video later of it being launched. Yeah. And we're, that's enough from Brad. And bye. Thanks for watching, guys.